spacing and their rush. We're going to be able to fill those holes and cut down their options. He just knew how important getting the number one goal was. And once they got it, they were able to go to work. Oh, Haywood with a nifty little move there as Josh Holmstrom was coming in. Haywood turn, and now UMass Lowell gets that first goal of this game. It comes at 6.58 of the first period, and Holmstrom, who took the shot from Haywood, turns around and scores to make it 1-0 Riverhawks. Uh, Pendenza talked about what a leader Holmstrom is off the ice, and here he demonstrates some of it on the ice as Lowell goes to work in the corners. We talked in the open. The corners are going to be huge, and they certainly are as the first notch in the belt goes to UMass Lowell in terms of that area as they win that battle, get it out to the point. Be very acrobatic too, but the bigger guys with the economy of movement have pucks find them. John Gillies for Providence can be very acrobatic as if you've kept your eye on national highlight shows, you probably saw this morning as Gillies made a great save for Providence and there's no stopping Lowell here on the power play. They score to make it 2-0 here in the first. Holmstrom gets his second. What a great start for the Riverhawks on the road. Riverhawks win the wall here, a little chip down the wall, and a play comes to the front of the net, and there it goes. The traffic in front of the net. Holmes got the big body with the big stick. It's the second effort that gets it in the Merrimack defense in front of the net. Ball's asleep. If there's a guy standing there that's wide open, even if you have to take a penalty, you got to put him on his fanny. And he was just way too open with way too much time to make a play. But it really starts with Lowell's ability to get pucks through the seams, Lowell's ability to use the walls to move the puck safely, and then they get their opportunity set up in front of the net. But hey, what takes it away, Bates. His shot stopped by Jake Suter. Sophomore out of Wisconsin. Pretty solid bloodlines for Jake Suter, wouldn't you say? As Lowell carries back the other way, Penzenza. Very fast skater. What a setup and what a goal. Gregory Amlock put it in. The setup from Penzenza. Penzenza. And it's 3 0 Lowell. Well, there's the yin and the yang aspect of, of opening up the game. And Lowell counterattacks and, and they find Bader. Merrimack went down in a rush. Lowell turns around on him pretty quickly, and this is just a nice little chip to the front of the net. That's just a high percentage play. Go wide, get a guy to drive, and the impressive part of it was the outside drive by Lowell. Normally, when he get inside the D and try to make something happen that way, but the long reach. Pesky and start to go blade on blade and get some turnover. So uh, I think for, for Lowell, it's pretty simple. Control the defensive blue line. And here's a chance for Merrimack trying to get right back into the game. Set up to Pacey scores! Opening minute goal for Merrimack. Sean Bates and the Warriors are on the comeback trail. The biggest risk you have four on four is when your defenseman overcommit and allows the other team to get into transition. And Merrimack got a puck and off they went. Bates has been pretty pesky in his own end. Was pretty good on that one. Merrimack. Picked off a pass at the blue line and off they went. Like I said, sometimes when, when you get to these four on fours, it creates man coverage issues and, and can... There you see Connor Hellebuck, the freshman from Commerce, Michigan, who played for the Odessa Jackalopes. The Odessa Jackalopes actually used to be a team in the Western Pro League before that league folded. The junior franchise moved in, but it is what I'm talking about. Can't find the puck, just gets settled. Gets square in his butterfly, gets out on top of the crease, takes up a ton of space. It's the world of the big goalies right now, and has a draft choice of Winnipeg. Battle for the puck, shot came all the way through. Puck bouncing around, top of the crease, hacked away, two seconds, one second. And with one week to go in the regular season, the UMass Lowell Riverhawks have sole possession of first place in Hockey East.